Hi guys, I am Shachi and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning into this video. So I recently took a trip to Eastern Europe and one of my stops was Vienna. We spent just one day in Vienna and in this video I am going to share with you what you can do with 24 hours in Vienna. Let's get started. We took a train from Salzburg to Vienna and the journey took about 3 hours. As soon as we reached Vienna, we checked into our hotel and headed out immediately. Our hotel was very close to Maria Hilfelstrasse in Vienna and this was our first stop. Maria Hilfelstrasse is the most lively and vibrant street in the city. This street gives you a glimpse of the city life in Vienna and is full of pretty cafes, boutiques and shops. It is the perfect place to get lunch, coffee and to do some shopping. After our lunch in the Maria Hilfelstrasse, we headed to the Hofburg Palace. Vienna is one of those cities which can be explored by walking and the main attractions are all close to each other. So make sure you wear comfy shoes and to make the exploring a little bit more fun, get yourself a physical map from your hotel. Our first stop was the Hofburg Palace, also known as the Imperial Palace. The palace complex is massive and is supposed to be one of the largest palaces in Europe. The palace complex has many museums, cathedrals and pretty sculptures and fountains. You can actually spend an entire day just roaming around here. But since we were short of time, we did a quick tour of the palace grounds and chose to visit the Imperial Treasury Museum. This treasury is a collection of all the treasures and valuables of the Habsburg Empire over the course of many centuries. The main attraction in this museum is the imperial crown, the orb and the scepter which was used by the kings and emperors of the Roman Empire. You can also see a collection of rare jewellery, clothes and other decorative pieces from the old era. Though I'm not a fan of museums, I love the Imperial Treasury Museum and highly recommend visiting this. Once we were done with the museum, we roamed around the palace grounds and within this area you will come across many more museums, street art, cafes, shops, all of which you can explore at your own pace. I highly recommend taking a break in one of the cafes for some coffee and the delicious Austrian chocolate cake, Sakaton. And ladies, don't forget to make a stop at the Swarovski store. If you are into crystal jewellery, Vienna is one of the best places for getting some. Walking distance from the Hofburg Palace is the St. Stephen's Cathedral and this was our last stop for the day. A beautiful cathedral, you can spend about 30 minutes here taking a tour and admiring the fabulous artwork. The next day we had about 4 hours in the morning before our train to Budapest. So after a hearty breakfast in our hotel, we chose to explore the Schönbrunn Palace. This palace is a little outside the city, so walking to it is not possible. You can either take a tram or if you are short of time like we were, just take a cab. The Schönbrunn Palace served as the summer residence of the Queen Maria Theresa. The palace grounds are massive and again, you can spend unlimited time here. There are several tours inside the palace and you can choose a tour which takes you inside the private chambers and offices of the royal dynasty. I quite enjoyed this tour but couldn't film anything inside. However, the best part of the Schönbrunn Palace is outside the palace, the beautiful palace gardens. To be honest, I've never quite seen any palace garden as majestic and beautiful as this one. Pictures and videos do not do any justice to these gardens. So make sure you have enough time to explore and take leisurely strolls through these palace gardens. You can easily spend about 3-4 to four hours here. So this was our last stop of a short and sweet stay in Vienna. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and subscribe for more travel videos. See you next week. Signing off for now. Bye.